Hello guys, in this video, we will cover about cylinders. So a cylinder is a solid bounded by a closed cylindrical surface and two parallel planes. So as you can see, it's like a can. The bounding cylindrical surface of a cylinder is called lateral surface. So if you can imagine um, a can of sardines and there is a label around it, right? So the label around it is the bounding cylindrical surface and of course it has two circular bases the up and down the bases of a cylinder are always equal so you need to remember that so that we it's it will be easier for us to recall the formulas that we need the altitude of a cylinder is the perpendicular distance between the bases and every section of a cylinder parallel to the base has an area equal to that of the base so, ano yung section dyan? Yung nakikita yung um, circular section here in the middle is called section. And every section of a cylinder parallel to the base has an equal area of the base. So, if this middle section is parallel to the base B here, then they are equal. And these are the formulas that we need to remember whenever we solve for cylinders. The lateral area is just equal to 2 pi R H. And the total surface area is just equal to twice the area of the bases, which is 2 pi r squared because the bases are circle, right? And then plus the lateral area, which is 2 pi r h. So, yan lang kailangan natin to solve uh, the dimensions of um, the cylinder. For the first problem, a right circular cylinder has a base with a radius of 4.6 centimeters and an altitude of 8.5 centimeters. Now, we need to calculate the lateral area, total area, and the volume of this cylinder. Now, as you can see, all the necessary uh, dimensions are already given. The radius. Oops. Lakihan na natin. Okay. The radius, which is... 4.6 centimeters and the height which is 8.5 centimeters now starting with the lateral area the formula that we need to find the lateral area is just 2 pi r h substituting the given we will have 2 pi times 4.6 times 8.5 centimeters and that is equal to 391 pi over 5 of course it's squared centimeters you can also write your answer using a decimal value and this is equivalent to 245.67 cm squared and now for the total surface area we will be needing the area of the two bases which is equal to twice the area of the square or um, circle pi r squared plus of course the lateral area now since we're done with the lateral area diba, this won't be a big problem kasi all we need here is the information about the radius which is what oops lock natin the radius which is equal to 4.6 centimeter squared plus the lateral area which we had a while ago that is 391 pi over 5 Using your calculator, your answer should be 3013 pi over 25 cm squared because it's the total surface area, which is also equivalent to the decimal 378.62 cm squared. And of course, the easiest is 
the solution for the volume which is just equal to pi r squared times the height. Kaya nga, nagiging madali yung computation natin dito kasi given na yung radius kaagad tsaka yung height. So, pag itong dalawang information na to ay laging given, di mahirap ang susolve, pag susolve ng cylinder. So, the volume now, using your calculator, will be 8,993 pi over 50 cm cube this time, of course. Or, also equal to the decimal value, 565.05 cm cube. And that's it. In the second problem, a cylindrical water storage tank has an inside base radius of 7 meters and a depth of 11 meters. So we just need to find the capacity of the tank in kiloliters. So whenever we talk of capacity, we're just referring to the volume. Now, if you have the inner dimensions of this cylindrical tank, then the solution will be easy because all we need to do now is to use the formula for the volume which is equal to what? pi r squared times height. Do we have a value for the radius? Yes, it's given. That is 7 meters. Do we have the value for the, the height? Yes, it's 11 meters. The height here refers to the depth of the tank. No? So, huwag kayo nagpapalito doon. Therefore, the volume now is equal to pi r squared. What's the radius again? Okay, it's 7 meters squared times 11 meters. And the calculator will give you the value 539 pi cubic meters. But the concern here is to convert the cubic meters into kiloliters. So our answer should be in kiloliters. So what should we do now? Yes, we just need to convert it by using this conversion value. So the conversion value will be what? For every 1 kiloliter, there is 1 cubic meters. As simple as that. Okay, cubic meter will be canceled. Cancelled. So the final answer is 539 pi cu cubic meters ba? Hindi, it should be in kiloliters now. Or in decimal, it's 1,693.32 kiloliters. A cylindrical roller, 2.5 meters in length, 1.75 meters in radius, when rolled on a road, was found to cover the area of 5,500 meters squared. How many revolutions did it make? So this problem is interesting because you know, we are asked to find the number of revolutions of the roller. Uh, familiar ba sa pison? Pison ba yan? No, pison, di ba? Okay, so kung familiar kayo doon, kung mapapansin nyo, yung pavement, okay, dinadaanan ng pison para mag-flat. ba? Okay, so pagka dinaanan niya yun, may nakocover siyang area sa bawat ikot. Okay, at kung mapapansin nyo, ang tumatama doon ay, ay ang surface area ng cylinder. Yun ang tumatama sa lupa. Parang yung lor, roller ng paint, ba? Yung surface area ang tumatama sa wall, kaya na cover nyo yung area ng wall tama kapag nagpe-paint kayo so ganun din dito kaso ang problema dito paano ang approach natin ngayon kasi ang hinahanap ay number of revolutions na kailangan umikot yung roller oh dali na lang to bakit kung yung cover yung na-cover niyang area ay 5500 meters squared tama ibig sabihin kailangan lang natin i-divide kung nakailang full Rotation siya. Tama. Ayang kaso, paano natin malalaman na nagkaroon ng full rotation yung roller natin? Simple lang. Pag nakumpleto niya, yung kailangan niyang i-cover na lateral area. So, ang gagawin lang natin, isusolve lang natin yung lateral area. And then, i-divide natin yung 
lateral area na yon sa 5,500. So, ganun na yun. Diba? O, i-approximate na natin yung value. What will be the approximated value? So, let's call it the number of revolutions of revolutions of the roller. So, what's the formula again? Yung covered area natin ay 5,550. Ah, sandali. Mukha akong pareho silang ano. Mukha silang parehong R. Covered. Oops! Naku ba naman? Pag ito ba naman, naglolo ko talaga, oh. Ayan. So, number of um, revolution is equal to covered area divided by the lateral area of the roller. Tama. So, yung covered area natin ay 5,500 meter squared. Ang lateral area, kung mapapansin nyo, ang formula ay 2 pi RH. So, 2 pi times the radius, which is what? Oh, meron tayong radius na 1.75. Now, the length of the roller becomes now the height of the cylindrical roller. So, this is multiplied to 2.5 meters. Tama. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, dahil meters ito at meters din ito no makakancel yung meter squared sa taas therefore yung matitira ay number na lang or yung value na kailangan natin and this is approximately what it's about 200 revolutions approximately lang kaya kung mapapansin niyo nilagyan ko ng about kasi nga estimated lang yung revolution natin na 200. May konting sobra pa dun, okay? Pero magiging komplikado na kasi sa atin kung hahanapin natin pinakasakto. Ang magiging sagot nyo ay 200.08 something, hindi ako nagkakamali, no? Okay? Pero, uh, pagka number of rotations lang naman na revolutions ang inahanap, that's about 200 revolutions. Now, there is an excess area kung mapapansin nyo. No? Pwede nyo gamitin yung excess area na yun to find the possible uh, um, the, uh, exact um, conversion to the revolution. Kaso, wag na, no? Ito na yung pinakamadaling paraan para masolve to. So, the answer is about 200 revolutions for it to cover 5,500 meters squared of land area. So, how about this fourth problem? What is the radius of a right circular cylinder with a volume of 628 cubic inches and an altitude of 5 inches? Okay. So, radius lang naman ang hinahanap natin dito. At meron tayo ng ibang uh, kailangan natin. So, hindi na magiging mahirap to. Bakit? Because if the volume of the cylinder is equal to pi r squared, time side. And you are solving let's say for R, all you need to do is to divide both sides by pi H. Tama. For this to be cancelled. So, i rewrite natin R squared which is this one is just equal to V over pi H. And as we all know, hindi pa R yan. Kailangan pa nating kunin yung square root of both sides for us to find the value of R, which is just the square root of V over pi H. In short, we just need to substitute the volume and the height. In this problem, the height is 5 inches. Okay? So, R now is just equal to the square root of the volume again 628 cubic inches divided by pi h the, the height is 5 and then you just write pi kasi pwede yung naman magkabaliktan dun dalawang to because this is just multiplication right 
So, R now, using your calculator, is just equal to 6.32 inches. Okay. That's it.